Hello friends, this is Nelson Darwin Park Tech channel. In this MATLAB tutorial, we are going to learn two different things. In the first part of the video, we will be learning how to concatenate or combine two strings in MATLAB. And in the second part, we will be learning how to print any value, any string value in our MATLAB message box. As our MATLAB message box does not support printing of any integer value. So let's start our first part of the video in which we will be concatenating two strings. I'm declaring a variable name string one in which I'm storing my string A, B, C, D. And I'm declaring a second string named string two in which I'm storing E, F, G, H. So what's the function of this concatenate after using concatenate you will be seeing in the command window that these two values has been concatenated and printed together so we'll be declaring another variable that cnc concatenated in which we will be concatenating our two strings number one string number one and second string number two so in order to concatenate we use String str cat. This function is used to concatenate two strings in MATLAB. So we want our string one to be concatenated with string two. Now let's print the value cnc and run. Here, here you can see how both of the strings has been combined or concatenated like ABCD our first string and EFGH was a second string. What if we change the order of these two? Let's say if I'm taking it as string two and this is string one. Save and run your code. Here you can see now our both strings are combined but in order we have sent our value to the function like uh, here we have sent our first value in which we have stored efgh and in string one we have stored abcd so it has combined both of the strings in order of our variable and printed it on our command window now let's come to the second part of the video in which we will be combining two strings we'll be taking input from users will be stringify that input and printing it on our message box so let's come to the second part i'll be commenting this part here i'm declaring a variable named user input in which i'll be taking input from the user for taking the input from user in matlab we use input command now you can write anything you want to be printed before the user enters the value i'm entering enter any value now the user will enter an integer value so first i will stringify that value so that our message box can support that string value so i'm using string one is equal to number two string if you didn't have watched our last video in which we have learned how to convert a number to string then no problem we will learn it here this function will be taking the value which will be sending it in in its parenthesis I'm sending user input and we'll convert this number as you can see it defined the number defined itself number two string now the entered value has been stringified now i'll be declaring another string name string two is equal to which i'll be saving you have entered something now we are coming to the last part of video 
in which we will be combining the both string and printing it on message box of MATLAB. So I'm declaring another variable in which I'll be combining these two. Let's say I'm taking a variable concat denoted. is equal to string cat string cat is a function which is used to combine two strings in the MATLAB in order of the variable we, we are sending in the string cat function let's say I am combining string 2 so that our message comes first so that the user can see the detailed message String 2 is supposed to be combined with string number 1. As the post string has been concatenated, now we can print it on our message box. Message box in which we will be printing our concatenated value. Like this. Now let's save the code and run. Here you can see in the command window, the MATLAB is asking us or asking the user to enter any value because of this command. As we are asking the user to enter any value, I will enter 2. It's a string value which will be then converted to string and stored in string 1. And then I've declared another string named string 2 in which I have stored you have entered and in concatenated variable I am concatenating my both of my variables and printing it on message box let's see what happens enter 2 here we go it is the output it is showing us you have entered 2 hope you have learned from this tutorial in order to learn more stay tuned to our channel and don't forget to subscribe